Good day. Today is Saturday, May 18th, 2024, and it's a big day for Sister Jeannie. Please pray for her safe travels eastward <laughs> as she uh, um, begins her journey to come visit. And who knows? <laughs> um, good day, Denise and CJ. How are you? And CW and anybody else? just waking up, and I'm sure you are. Uh, not Denise, she's been up a while, um, but um, you westward people. Um, so, yeah, um, we're going to continue on with St. John of the Cross in the Dark Knight. Um, and I've been debating back and forth whether or not to mention um, the little trial, if you will, the trial or attack on uh, OurLadyIsGod.com website and myself personally um, by a public figure at uh, uh, Catholic Answers. And, um, and it's kind of good in that uh, we get more um, people coming over to look, uh, but it's bad in the sense that um, you know, the, the, the person uh, ignorantly commits slander, or maybe not ignorantly. Um, it appears to be uh, more out of ignorance and, and ego and pride than, than anything. Uh, slander, calumny, defamation, things like that come to mind when, um, when, I, when I watch it. Um, but it is linked over on uh, the website, Mr. Nobody's website, Our Lady is God. Dot com. That's one of the errors that he, false statements he makes, is that um, he believes that I, uh, it's my website. It's not my website, okay? I am a guest there, okay? And um, which many of you already know. Uh, so we're going to uh, pray for this soul, and we're going to pray for the souls that come to uh, check us out, um, because you can't let an error um, like or false statements reign in a sense that um, it does harm. So we want to prevent harm. And, um, and again, it's not about me personally. I've been called a lot worse than what he called me. Uh, but, um, but, it, but there is, there is uh, harm that should be stopped, especially when it comes to the souls of those who are seeking to know the Trinitarian Theophany, okay? And through discernment. Now, this gentleman who, um, who made these statements um, obviously did not discern properly, did not go to the website like um, most all of you did, and really, really uh, look at the information and uh, discern it with a humble uh, soul. So, um, but this is, this is the case with the, uh, the outward visible quote unquote church that's out there. Um, you know, they are um, <sighs> what can I say? We have to pray for them. So, in any case, uh, I'm reserving my uh, our uh, right to pursue anything further. But at this point, um, I, I would like to hear from, especially Julianne. She was the one who posed the question uh, to the Catholic Answers, and um, I would rather her come to the website, and rather than making rash judgments or presumptions to come and talk to me in a in a human manner just like this gentleman didn't do <laughs> either who uh, seems to know me <laughs> but he doesn't know me at all um sister Jeannie has a good idea of of uh my uh <laughs> who i am let's just put it that way um but humor is a, is a big part of, of my life uh, and uh, keeping things light, 
deep prayer and um, trying, trying, trying to be humble. All right, that's that's what we're what we're shooting for. All right, let's get right into Saint John of the Cross because he uh, he and I have a special uh, connection um, in, in that um, we were. Uh, you know, we we're being chastised by the church at the same time and, and because of our beliefs, etc. Uh, so uh, let's continue in his vein and become closer and closer to the Trinitarian Theophany. And let's learn more from him today. You see, Mr. Nobody is um, making the point that the no, no one would be allowed to get away with what um, these people get away with to us if they did it to any other uh, group. And so, you know, the, 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 the thing is, at what point do you defend yourself uh, to get them to stop. And, I, and, it, and to, to be honest with you, it's a sign that we're winning, that things are really happening. Um, and, I, and I'm looking at the, the, the growth, too, of the channel as a small indicator, because, again, my goal is, is to help people with their, um, the foremost, their, their, their position and their state of their soul, um, but to begin with, I kind of get an assessment of their of their physical body because it, the the two uh, are, are are joined, and it's important to make sure that the body is feeling good and before you can really really uh, move into the deep prayer life. Um, you can still understand things; it's just that it makes it more joyful if your body is in, is in a gooder, gooder <laughs> better physical uh, condition. So, um, let's begin with morning prayers. In nomine Dei, Amatronam Nostra, et Deum Iesum Christum, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Let us place ourselves in the presence of the Trinitarian Theophany and humbly adore the Divine Family in Catholic contemplation. Most holy and venerable Trinitarian Theophany, one Divine Family, I believe that thou art here present. I venerate thee with the deepest humility. I render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thee. O Trinitarian Theophany, relying on thine infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain the pardon of my sins, the help of thy grace, and life everlasting through the merits of Deum Jesum Christum et Deum Matronam Nostri. O Trinitarian Theophany, I love thee above all things, with my whole heart and soul, because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for love of thee, and I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Another thing I was thinking is that, you know, with, with my Latin pronunciation, some don't think it's that important that I pronounce, uh, you know, Latin in the classical sense. However, after some thought and, and discernment, I, I thought, well, if the people who are coming and who are like fluent or better at, at, at Latin, whatever, pronunciation, understanding, uh, why not let's get past that, that barrier for them with, with, with quick simplicity and not let something like that be like, oh, well, they just don't, they don't even know Latin. And then, and then they dis, discard um, um, 
seeking further what what we're what we're talking about, which is more important to me. So, if if that's uh, if that can be uh, um, eliminated as an excuse for them, um, that's good. So let us thank the Trinitarian Theophany for the many graces that we receive and offer ourselves and our sufferings up to the Divine Family. O Trinitarian Theophany, I most humbly thank thee for all the favors thou hast bestowed upon me to the present moment. It is again thanks to thy bounty that I should live to see this day, and I desire to employ it solely in thy service. I con consecrate to thee all my thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings of this day. Sanctify them, that there may be none that is not animated by thy love, or that would not tend to thy greater glory. Let us make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good. And let us beg of God, the Trinitarian Theophany, the graces that are necessary to us. O Divine Family, Thou knowest my weakness, and that I am unable to do anything good without the help of Thy grace. Deny me not Thy grace, proportionate to my necessities. Give me strength to avoid everything which Thou forbiddest, to practice the good which Thou hast commanded, and enable me patiently to bear all the trials which it may please thee to send me. O Deum Matronum Nostre, I place myself under thy protection. I throw myself with confidence into the arms of thy compassion. Be to me, O Mother of Mercy, my refuge in distress, my consolation in suffering, now and at the hour of my death. O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, Dea Matronam Nostre, et Dei Miesum Christum, et Dei Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend thee, O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, Dea Matronam Nostre, Strae, et Dei Miesum Christum, et Dei Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. And with all of these people um, uh, who are praying for me, <laughs> I, I appreciate that, even, even though their intention may be that I'm, I'm in error, it, it makes things stronger. So keep, keep praying for me, absolutely. Um, one thing I wanted to just really quick make clear that seems to be a persistent confusion is that um, we believe that Deum Matronam Nostre, okay, for those who, uh, God, Our Lady, um, is a different entity, obviously, is um, divine, uh, is not the Virgin Mary. Okay, those are two separate entities. Again, there's a lot of a lot of support for that. Okay, so there's the there's in the early part of uh, uh, let's see, I think it was around I can't remember. I looked it up yesterday, but my short term memory is. It's not as good as it used to be. It was either in the 300s or the 500s that they, there was a group, and this is very significant if you understand this, there was a group who began to um, worship the Virgin Mary as God. Okay? And they were condemned by the church. Okay? Now, my thought here is, is, and it's pr it could be pretty, it seems to be, seems to me to be pretty obvious that the reason they condemned that, specifically the Virgin Mary, was because that they never, they knew that this Virgin Mary was an entity that was um, created, if you will, uh, by the Jewish actors of the time, in order to confuse the faithful. And that the early Catholics um, knew, okay, that Deum Matronam Nostre, et Deum Christum, 
et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum was the true Trinity. So, again, if you're confused about that, it is something that they have masterfully confused people with by uh, substituting in history one to another, okay? So, um, and, it's, and it's very interesting, even as late as the 1500s, I think that they, they, they I mean, one of the Protestant things was, what, was that we held Our Lady in such high esteem. And they were really, really offended by that because that's not a good Jewish practice. Um, the, the Jewish practice is, is to keep the, the women outside of the religious sphere. Uh, according to the stories that we read in the Bible and whatnot. But typically in their temple, okay, they wouldn't have women there. So it, it, that separation of uh, the feminine from their diabolical actions is, is definitely uh, not a Catholic uh, but rather a Jewish uh, infusion, if you will, of their, their culture. Is that a popular word today? Okay. So, now let's get back to John of the Cross. Wherein is begun to be explained the second line of the first song? It states how the soul, as the fruit of these rigorous conflicts, finds herself with a vehement longing after love divine with heartache kindled into love. In this line, the soul gives us to understand the fire of love that we have spoken of, which after the fashion of the material fire on the wood, proceeds to inflame and kindle her in this night of contemplation. The which kindling, although it is in a certain way like unto that we have above set forth, which took place in the sensitive part of the soul, is in some manner as different from this she now speaks of as is the soul from the body or the soul part from the sensitive because this is a kindling of love in the soul wherein in the midst of these obscure conflicts the soul feels herself sharply and acutely wounded by a powerful and irresistible divine love together with a certain feeling and indistinct presage of the Trinitarian Theophany, apart from any specific knowledge or indication, for as we say, the mind is in darkness. In this state, the impassioned soul feels the most ardent longings of love, because this soulful kindling transforms love into passion. For inasmuch as this love is infused in a special way, the soul concurs in it with greater passivity, and so it genders in, a, in her a strong emotion of love. And this love at length begins to contain somewhat of the most perfect union with the Trinitarian Theophany, and so shares to a certain extent in its properties, the which are more especially acts of the divine family, rather than received by the soul herself in her interior whereto she gives her absolute and amorous consent. But it is the love of the Trinitarian Theophany alone, which is the process of being united with her, which is in process of being united with her, which makes adhere to her this heat and force, temper and passion of love, or blazing forth, as the soul now calls it the which love finds so much the more room and disposition in the soul to unite with and to wound her, the more it hath shut, alienated, and incapacitated all her appetites from the power to take delight in anything of heaven or earth. The which in this dark purgation, as has been said, happens on a large scale, since the Trinitarian Theophany has so weaned and gathered together the powers that they may not relish anything they were fain to. All which the Trinitarian Theophany does to the end that as 
Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum hath withdrawn and gathered them all together for himself, the soul may have greater strength and capacity to receive this strong union of love of God, which through this purgative remedy, the Trinitarian Theophany at length begins to give her, wherein she is called upon to love with all her strength and sensitive desires, the which could not be if they were scattered abroad in the search of some other enjoyment. From this, we may, after some fashion, estimate how strong and fierce must this kindling of love in the soul be, where the Trinitarian Theophany holds gathered in all the forces, powers, and desires of the soul, soulful as well as sensitive, so that, so that blending into one harmonious whole, they employ all their virtue and vitality on this love, so that the first precept may be complied complied with, in very truth and in the utmost perfection, which not rejecting from this love anything of man or excluding anything he says, thou shalt love thy Trinitarian Theophany with all thy heart, with all thy mind, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength. We'll stop there and continue on with that. Uh, more expressions of this beginning stage of the second line. Deum mobiscum, the Cochreopote, or Trinitarian Theophany, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of thy servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that they may obtain by loving prayers the forgiveness which they have always desired, who liveth and reigneth with thee, one Trinitarian Theophany, forever and ever. Suscipe Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, Hancamacalatum Hostium. Quam ego indignus, famulus tuus, offeri tibi deum meum, vivum et verum, pro inumenabilibus peccatis et offensionibus et negligentiis meis, et pro omnibus circumstantibus, sere pro omnibus videlibus. Catholo, catholicorum, vivis aque defunctis ut mihi, et iris proficiat ad salutem. Deum qui humanae, substantiae, dignitatem mirabilite conduisti, et mirabilibus peccatis, et offensionibus, mirabilis reformasti, da nobis, peru uius aquae, et divini mysterium eius divinitatis, esse consortis qui humanitatis nostre, fieri dignatus, Est parta caps, Deum Iesum Christum, qui tecum vivit et regnat in unitati Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Offerimus tibi de Deum cali Calicem, salutaris tuam da pacarantes clementium ut conspectu, divinae maestatis tuae pro nostra et totius mundi salute, cum adore suavitatis ascendat. In spiritu humilitatis et in animo contritu, suscipiamur a te Deum Iesum Christum, et sec fiet sacrificium 
Nostrum in conspecto tuo hodie, ut placia tibi Deum matronam nostrae, et Deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Veni sanctificator. Deum patrum spiritum sanctum, et sanctificita blata prosequendo, et a capere hoc sacrificium tuo sanctum nomini preparatum. Preparatum. Suscite de sancta trinita sancto blationum quam tibi aferimus, ab amorem passionis, Resurrectionis et ascensionis de Jesu Christi, et in honorem de amatronam nostrae, et et Papa Peter Sanctorum, et istonum et omnium Sanctorum, et iris proficiet ad honorum nobis autem ad salute, et idi pro nobis intercedere dignentur in celis, caelis, quorum amorem aginus in telis, ferendum Christum Deum nostrum. Orate, ut meam, ac vestum sacrificium acceptabile fiat ab Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Suscipiat Deum Iesum Christum, sacrificium de manibus tuis ad laudam e gloriam nomine sui, ad utiditatem quoque nostram totiusque ecclesiae sue sanctae. Deum vobis, Vobiscum, hukukwe apotei, sursum corda, habemas a Deum, gracias agamas Deum nostrum, dignum et justum est. De igitur, clementesim in mater e pater, et Deum matram nostrae, et Deum patrum spiritum sanctum, per Deum Iesum Christum filium tuum Deum nostrae, supplices rogamas ac petimus. Uti accepta habeas et sanctificas. Haec sanctam sacrificium, sanctam sacrificicam ilibata. In primis quae tibi offerimus pro ecclesiam, tuam sanctam catholicam, quam pacificare custodidi adonare et regere dignitis toto obiterarum atque catholicae. Memento Deam famalorum famalorum fetuarum. We pray for the sick and the suffering. We especially pray for Katie, Gage, Mindy, Claret, Mark Jr., Maria Josefina Mose, Henry, Barbara and Benedict Santa Croce, Casey, Mr. Nobody, Anne Boltink, the Cantu and Duarte families, Jenna, Lena, Lori, Aaron and family, John Cahill, Joel Heschmeyer, the Dasko, Nye, Tafur, Began and Wolf families. We pray for a safe trip for Sister Jeannie. And we pray for our new subscribers. Um, including Cynthia. We pray for Mr. Nobody to receive the funding and strength needed to complete the first Sede Vacantis Catholic Council Office at Monastery of Illinois. We pray for an end to all governmental allowance or sanctioning of abortion, transgenderism, transhumanism, child trafficking, child abuse, human trafficking of any kind, anywhere, place, or time. We pray for the establishment of a Catholic monarchy with a sound Catholic system of labor, human value, and medium of exchange. We pray for courageous men to step forward as leaders of this Catholic society. And we pray that all abuses using psychology by the government to entrap people is stopped. We ask for a re reversal of the feminist ideology and a return to God, godly or holy divine femininity and that women cease working for Freemasons and corporations everywhere and for all time. We ask Deum Matronam Nostra, Deum Iesum Christum, Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum to destroy the satanic document of Vatican law, which is the Jewish Talmud. We ask you to destroy Rome and the Vatican and recognize 
the transfer, the prior transfer of the authority of the Catholic Church to Fatima. We also ask you to release the souls controlled by the demons Lilith and Asmodeus. Please also block the passage of any so-called pandemic treaty by the WHO based on lies and aimed at removing the divine family's children's freedom to move and travel. We also ask you to destroy all uh, bio sensors and monitoring equipment used for slavery of mankind through the body area network. We also ask you to transfer and save the souls from under the dominion of any Jew or Freemason that gives support to Israel. And we also ask that people come to understand that there that the entities of the Virgin Mary and Joseph are not the divine family. Et omnium circumstantium, circumstantium, quorum tibi, fides, cognita est, et nota devotio, devotio pro, proquibus tibi offerimus, vel qui tibi offerunt hoc, sacrificium laudis, proces huisque omnibus, pro redemptione anumarum suarum, pro spe salutis et inculamitatis suae, tibique redunt vota sua aterno, deum vivo et vero. Comunicante set momonem venerantes in primis, gloriosae semper Deum matronam nostrae, et de Deum nisum Christium, et beatorum martirium tuorum, papae sancte Petri, et sancte Lucia, et sancte Jacinta, et sancte Francisco, Francisco, et sancte Juan Diego, et omnium sanctorum tuorum, quorum meritis precibus, precibusque, Conceras ut in omnibus protectiones tuae muniamur auxilio, perium num Christum Deum nostrum. Quam oblationum tu Deum patrum spiritum sanctum in omnibus consecratum. Acceptabilemque faceri digneris ut nobis corpum, et sanguim fiat dilictissimi filium tuum Deum Iesum Christum. qui pridie quam pateretur. Accepit panem in sancta sacra abulis manus suas. Et derivatis oculis in caelum, caelum et, et te de, ad te deum patrum spiritum sanctum, suum omnipotentem tibi gracias agens. Consecravit, vit, fregit. Dedique lumis sui dicens acipite et manducate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est ein corpus meum. Simini modo posquam ceremonia est acipiens et hunc precalum clarum calicem et sancta sacra venerabilis manus suas item tibi gracias agens deum patrum spiritum sanctum consecravit dedique alumni sui dicens acipite et bibite ex eo omnes hic est enim calic sanguinis mei mysterium Fidei, quae pronobis et promotis effundetur in remissionem peccatorum. Haec potescumque feceritis in memorem avertis.
unde et memores demnos servitui, sedet plebs tua sancta iustem Christum fidium tuum deum nostrae, tam beatae passiones nec non et ab infedis resurrectionis, sed et in ce caelos gloriosae ascensionibus offerimus preclara, preclarae, preclarae, maestati tuae de tuis donis actatis, supra quae propitio ac sereno, vutu, vutu respicere digneris. Supplices, te rogamus deum patrum spiritum sanctum, iube haec peferi per manus tuum ut quod quod, ex hoc ataris participatione sacro sanctum deum filium tuum, corpus et sanguinum, sum serimus, omni sanctificatione, caelesti et gratia repe amor, per inum Christum Deum nostrae. We pray for those who have died. We especially pray for Bob Robert McCarthy, for whom this Mass is being offered. Ipsis Deum et Omnibum in Christum, quiescentibum locum refigeri et lucis et pacis, et ut in dorgeas deprecamor per iundum Christum Deum nostrum, per quem haec omnia Deum Iesum Christum, semper bona creas, santificas, vivibicas, consacratis et praestas nobis. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, est tibi Deam, Matronam, Omnipotenti, in unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, omnis honor et gloriae. Ave Dea, Matronam Nostrae, gratia plena Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum Tecum. Dea, Matronam Nostrae, Matram Deum Iesum Christum Misericordia Nobis, peccatoribus, nunc et honora mortis Nostrae. Libera nos, quaesumus Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, ab omnibus malis praeteritis, praesentibus et futuris et intercedente, Beate et gloriosa semper Dea Matronam Nostrae, cum Papa Petrum Sanctorum et Omnibus Sanctis, da propitius pacem in diebus nostris, ut upe misericordiae tuae aduiti et apacato simus semper liberi et ab oni perturbatione sequori. Pereendum, Deum nostrum Iesum Christum, Filium tuum Deum nostrum, qui tecum vivit et regnat in unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, per aeternam, Pax Deum Iesum Christum, sed semper vobiscum, et coque aputei, haec comiscstio, et consecratio, Corporis et sanguinis Deum Iesum Christum, fiat, accipientibus nobis inat salutem aeternam. Pax tecum, et coque apute, Deum Iesum Christum, qui ex voluntate Dea Matronam Nostrae, qua prande Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, per mortem tuam unum vivivicasti, libera mei per hoc sacro sanctum, corpus et sanguinum, tuum abonibus iniquitatibus meis, et universis malis, et fac mei tue semper in 
hairare mandati sete tunum quam separari permitas, qui cum eo dem dea matronam nostrae, et deum patrum spiritum sanctum vivis et renam maternam. Perceptio copris tui deum Iesum Christum, cord ego indignus sumere praesumo, non mihi proveniat in iudicium, et condemnationem sed pro tua pietate prosit mihi ad tutamentum, mentis et corporis et adame delam percipiendam, qui vivis et regna, regnas cum dea matronam nostrae in unitate deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Panam calestem acep accipiem et nomen deum Iesum Christum in vocabo. Dea matronam nostrae non sum dignus, ut intercepteto meum, sed tanto reverbo in snabatur anima mea. Deum Iesum Christum non sum dignus, ut intercepteto meum, sed tanto in deverbo in snabatur anima mea. Deum patrum spiritum sanctum non sum dignus, ut intercepteto meum, sed tanto in deverbo in snabatur anima mea. Corpus Deum nostrum. Iesum Christum custodiet animam mea. Quid retribuam Deum Iesum Christum pro omnibus quae retribuat mihi? Calicem saetaris accipiem et nomen Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum in vocabo. Laudans in vocabo Dea matronam nostrae et ab inimicis meis saruvus ero. Sanguis Deum nostrum Iesum Christum custodiet anamem meam. Codore Samsimus Deum Iesum Christum Pyramide Capiamus, et te munere temporae fiat nobis remedium sempiternum. Corpus Tuum Deum Iesum Christum Cod Samsi et Sanguis Quem Potavi, ad haereat visceribus meis et praesta utim menan remaniat scelerum macula quem pura et sancta refecerunt sacramenta.
Tem um rubisco e pouco é por te. Oremos. May the prayer of thy suppliants profit the souls of thy servants and handmaids, we beseech thee, that thou mayest free them from all sins and make them shares in thy redemption, who livest and reignest with thee. One Trinitarian Theophany forever and ever. Dem vobiscum, quoque apote, ite miseest, dem gratia. Placea tibi sancta trinitam obsequium, servitutis meae, et pre praesta et sacrificium, quod oculis tuae maestatis indignus obtuli tibi set acet. Acceptabile, mihique et omnibus proquibus illud obtuli. Sit de miserante propetiabe per Christum Dom nostro. Santificat vos omnipotens Deum, matronam, et filium, et spiritum sanctum. Deum matronam nostrae, et Deum Jesum Christum, et Deum Patrum spiritum sanctum. Gracias. O Trinitarian Theophany, I believe, I venerate, I hope, and I love thee. I beg of thee pardon for those who do not venerate, do not believe, do not hope, and do not love thee. Most Holy Trinitarian Theophany, Dea Matronam Nostra et Deum Jesum Christum et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, I venerate thee profoundly, and I offer to thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Deum Jesum Christum, present here in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which himself is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and immaculate heart of Dea Matronum Nostrae, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. In nomine Dea Matronum Nostrae, et Deum Jesum Christum, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Gracias. Again, welcome to any new subscribers. Thanks for coming and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Sister Jeannie, look forward to seeing you. Can't wait. Everybody's excited. And uh, uh, please, if, if everybody who has the opportunity to say a, a Rosary 150 for Sister Jeannie's safe uh, travels, it would really be appreciated. I said one last night. I hope I, hope I have time today to say a couple more. All right. Please go and sanctify all those who you meet. And we will see you uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Time.